Two, oh no, this is Shag, and this stage isn't too hard, though it does provide many ways to be clumsy and idiotic, which is my specialty, so I'm still playing this. The boss is also prime clumsiness fodder, because he has a bit of randomness to him, and that's never good. He's He gets a little more credit than the moth guy from the first Cossack stage for that reason. But don't give him too much credit. I'm sure it's just me bungling things up again. Welcome to Pessimistic Shag Hour, which is only enhanced by the forced use of Rust Jet, my favorite dog that's a robot that I like to hate. There aren't many of those, so I guess Rush gets a free pass. At least there's fuel, just in case you, like, used all your Rust Jet in the first stage for some reason. Go ahead and take out this fellow. Boop, and... Oh, okay. It's like we never even did that. Just so we can, like, attempt to cheat our way through here with the balloon, which probably really makes things harder on myself. Okay, let's try that again. Come on, switch. Hmm. Making things harder on myself is my favorite pastime. There we go! Laziness kind of achieves victory at some point. Yay, we only had to use one balloon there. It's like I'm conserving ammo, except I'm not. Hey, Bat, come on down so I can shoot your brains out if you have any. I'm not sure if you're a robot or not. Sounds like a quiz show in the Mega Man universe. Robot or not? With your host, um, uh, Tango. Yeah, that, that'll that work, sure. Let's have a game show hosted by Robotic Buzzsaw Cat. I'm sure the ratings will go through the roof and then into space, where they will proceed to destroy a bunch of droids bent on destruction, led by a guy with the power of the sun. Coincidentally. Uh, anyway, let's fill up this balloon here, just in case we need to abuse it more for lazy purposes in later levels. And keep going. To defeat this room, just climb the ladder. To defeat this room, just ignore the one-up. To defeat this room, go into the boss door with the dust crusher equipped and hope you don't stumble your face into the enemy lasers again. This boss is kind of weird. I guess it's like some kind of sort of spiritual devil. Like the yellow devil. Except it's like a mechanical room. It's the cube room of doom. I don't know what is going on here. Lasers! If you're good, you can get like... Four dust crusher shots per pass. But that was obviously a poor performance. He will only lock and go into laser mode when it is going at that speed. There are two faster speeds it can go into as well, if you're into that sort of thing, I guess. Or if it feels like it. But you just slide under those, it's no big deal. You could also, like, jump through it in a crazy sort of shenanigans way, but it's generally not the safest method, so why bother? Ah. I'm just going to try to survive more than try to get tons of hits. Because I think that's the safer way to go, in a way where you care about your survival, more than killing things. What I'm saying is, being psychotic is not the best way to go about life. Oh look, we screwed it up entirely. This is what happens if you're not in the box when, you're, when it locks. You just kind of get to do a little bit of disco dancing on the floor down here. While dodging le ho jeez. Don't try to interrupt my line of thought that fast, Mr. Cube. Hey, let's see if we can get something done here. We got one hit. Well, eh. I don't care if this goes on forever. It would go on even longer if I still, like, refuse to not do anything except use the buster. Yay, I shot the wrong way! I am a Mega Man Master! It's amazing! I'm crushing so much with this dust right now. I'm crushing 
all feelings of confidence in myself. I think maybe it's just getting late and I'm getting pessimistic. Hey! Wah! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Aww. I hope I don't need tons of Dust Crusher later, because I'm totally not doing it the most efficient way possible. Oh well! The point I guess this video is making is that you don't have to beat a boss super fast in order to beat a boss. Because there you go! There are no more cubes that need to be redecorated in order to not match the scenery. Again, this is a stage that doesn't require much in the use of weapons, but it does require the use of brain power to do things like climbing ladders. Thank you very much, me. There is, of course, also... No comment. There we go. I just used all of them! That's... fairly bad. Why did I do that? Yeah, I could probably just have done the jumping puzzle. <laughs> That's there will what always be... Well, I guess at least one... Now that's not even true. He doesn't always even speed up. Oh! I am done! Let's go ahead and take care of that guy so that we can completely ignore the possibly treacherous spike puzzle in favor of cheating it with a balloon. That totally shouldn't have happened. Oh well, that was fun and fantastic. There were two very obvious power-up locations that made it simple. Little. So, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Spikes? Nah. Whoop, too early. But, obviously that was a very poor performance on my part. It can fly across at three different speeds. When it's doing the slowest, it will combine and allow you to take shots at it. Try to lead the shots in order to make it so that you can get up there. We can try to finagle our way up here with the balloon because I don't like puzzles. It'll be great. It'll be great, I swear. Ah, uh, what? So, once again, not terribly difficult. Oh, I should have gotten that energy thing there. Probably. That was terrible in my voice. Let's go ahead and spend a ring to kill this spine. Spend three rings because I'm a fool! A foolish fool who can't foolishly play video game! This could be bad. That was bad. 